So what's going on, guys? I'm back again. And I got this to talk about. The situation, Bethune Cookman College. All right, so this uh, interim president comes on, speaking to Roland Martin, and flat out lie about the conditions of the locker rooms for the football team. The whole situation with the, lock, with the football team. Flat out lie, and then he tries to come off and say, the school is based on integrity and all this stuff. Check out this uh, this little clip I had did. When asked, um, do the school, I'm sorry, when asked when the players on the football team have to share equipment and um, they don't have showers and all this stuff, he sat there with a straight face and said, that's not true. With the interim president, Dr. Drake uh, of Bethune Cookman. Dr. Drake, uh, this is a tweet uh, from um, from an individual uh, said, bro, don't tell me nothing about no HBCU. I got kids that played at BC Athletics for the past three years, and they told me they were sharing helmets. Come on, man, stop playing with me. Ed Reed was the best thing for that school. They have the same mentality as the city I'm from, uh, BG. Uh, I, I've also, others have said to me that there are no showers for the players. They're washing their own uniforms and clothes. Is that true? No. And the fact of the matter is, is that, again, I would say you've been to BCU. Come down and visit. I'll show you. That's not true. It kind of gave that little smirk. Like, mm -mm -mm. But when Roland interviewed three of the football players, they had a whole different thing to say. Saying that we didn't share helmets, we don't shower, or we we sh we actually have showers. We don't have showers. We don't have a locker room. We have to watch out where we put our stuff in the stadium locker room so we, it doesn't get wet and then get moldy, and then we got to practice in moldy stuff. Or when we go and put our stuff away, it's in the we shed. put it in the shed, and the shed, and then gets, the wet shed the gets wet from the rain, and, and then we got to practice in that moldy stuff. Moldy balls, moldy helmets. We share those moldy helmets too, and that gear. Not only do they share uh, helmets, uniforms, they said everything's covered in mildew. It was like, you have to, they don't have locker rooms, they don't have showers, they have to wash their own uniforms, they have to disinfect and clean their own uniforms from the mildew. They keep the uniforms in a shed that leaks water it leaks water you mean tell me you couldn't find a better building to put the stuff in that didn't leak shit you can build one for equipment but anyway he went on there live straight face live so you know once you live one time on situations like this nothing else you're gonna say is relevant Okay, guys, if you like the video, hey, help brother out. Hit that subscribe, like, and always hit that notification bell. This is JP, Mr. Nobody with Calm Vibes, and I'm up out of here. Peace.